Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of my Another Brick in the Mall series. In today's episode, we're going to build a massive electronics store. We've also done a lot of mall expansion, as you can see, which is quite exciting. And very importantly, we've unlocked cinemas, which we're going to hopefully go ahead and get built as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, I think, bus transportation 2. Just on the basis that I think I want to start placing a lot more bus stops. And I think it might yield us again more people, again more money, which I think is a good idea. Allows marketing campaigns on traditional media. Actually, that might be better because that might just like put adverts, you know, out and that, that might bring in people anyway on the current means of transport. So we'll maybe try that for the time being anyway. Alright, so what I want to do is, uh, there's a lot we need to do here, so I don't know if you can sort of image what I'm doing here, but I'll let you try and guess, although I'm about to tell you the answer shortly, but based on the floors, can you tell, if you've been watching this series that well, what's this room going to be here, I wonder? Then what is this room going to be here, I wonder? Then what are these two rooms going to be? I wonder. Well, you know what this is going to be. This is going to be a store of sorts. And then what is this going to be here? Of sorts. This is going to be a store as well, but I'm not really at all sure what kind of store it's going to be yet because it's a very small premises compared to the other stores we've got. So I'm not 100% sure. I could make it a bookstore, though again, we'll have to wait and see. Currently, if you missed the last episode, just a heads up, we have a big loan out right now. So as we can see, we're not making as much money as we once were. However, again, I'm just building for the future here. Right, so let's make this nine wide. And let's go ahead and allow for a massive corridor to come through here. Again, it looks like we're going to have some staggered corridors, but the mall isn't going to be perfect. Let's do one, two, three, four, nine wide again. And let's build right up to there. So this is going to be one large massive corridor now. So you really should be able to get the idea of what I'm up to. We're also doing a lot of uh, road building right now as well. Uh, we're adding in more customer parking. All this sort of stuff. So it's all go right now really to be honest. With regards to the building. The reason was because, I mean, we do have a lot of spaces, but we're up at 267 the other day, which is good. And obviously, if this media stuff is going to have an effect, then going long term, we probably will be quite successful with it. Right, so we're having a staff door in there. This is because this storage room is going to serve two shops, not just the one. I actually want to go ahead and get rid of that and that. And then we're going to go ahead and just move that back a little bit. Now, this storage room is going to be accessing the outside here. So what we're going to have, we have some drop-off points here. So there's two storage rooms right beside each other. So this one's just going to be exclusively for our clothing. Though I could quite easily move it, actually. Uh, I could move these around. And we might do that at some point. But we'll just see how things go. Very importantly, I need to add in a bathroom into this mall. Because somehow we don't have one already. Which I think is quite important for customer satisfaction. Though in general, it's doing quite well. It's at 62%. Peak customers on site were up at 427. So, although a lot of those people take the buses, I'm sure if there was the opportunity, they would like to take the car. So, it's something just very important to note. Okay, so, I also want to go ahead and fill in this gap here with staff-only parking as well. I need to make sure we have enough staff-only parking, just because there's obviously going to be a lot of staff eventually working in here as time goes on. Now, what are we going to start off with? I think we should probably start off with the electronics. A lot of this building is going to take a while. It is quite a large project all in all. So let me go ahead and start to plan out this store. What we're going to do here is we're going to have double doors along the front, which is good. So that's not symmetrical in the middle, so we'll leave that like so. Because there's going to be lots of doors around here, we can go ahead and... Or a large corridor around here, it means we can have doors at the top and also on this left-hand side. So that allows access to the store. The next thing we want to do is... Could add a jewellery store at the bottom here. So what we're primarily going to be using is tables and... Let me just come back over at the superstore here. Tables and... 
shelves because we need Blu-rays, DVDs and that sort of thing. So that's what's going to be in the electronic store really. And this place is going to be a 7 till 10 shop just because I feel it's going to be like that. So let me go ahead and start to put out tables. Lots of tables. We probably should actually start out with checkouts because that's probably going to be the more popular thing. Or I feel that I very much build my stores around checkouts. That's always very important to me. So let me go ahead and add in... Though this is very important. We're going to actually add it back a bit just because I'm going to have lots of anti-theft stuff. So let me go ahead and put in like five or six checkouts at the top. I'll put five up there and then we'll just have maybe just two down the bottom here. I don't really know where staff will natively go, if they'll go at the top or not. Again, I want to go ahead and, you know, we're actually going to group everything at the top here. I think that's for the best. Self-checkouts, I think we will have one or two of these as well, just for namesake. Put three of these in. So that's the top of the store all taken by checkouts, which is fine. And then let's start to go ahead and just build some more tables. So uh, we go into store, we get tables, and we continue on with what we're doing. There's going to be a lot, and I mean a lot of stock in this shop. However, it's going to be a uh, very, it's going to have a lot of individual items. And on top of that as well, especially at times like Christmas, it's going to be extremely busy. So that is very important to note. Right, so that's enough tables out. Now I think we need to go ahead and also add in some shelves as well. Though that's going to kind of block queues, isn't it? Hmm, okay, not too good. Right, why don't we have a think? Where is the queue on you? Queue is on this left-hand lane. Right, okay, that's fine. So that means then I'm going to go ahead and build shelves here, here, and maybe not that high up. I've maybe built too many tables. I'm starting to get that feeling. Yeah, I think we have. Right, we'll see how things go anyway. We'll start to put products out on these shelves once I assign this area a store. So what am I going to call this electronic store? One or two people have been asking for stores to be named after me, but currently I'm in America right now, so this is all mass recorded. If you don't know. Uh, right, let me go ahead and where are we with this store? What is this store called? Store 11. Right, manage. There we go, at the bottom there. Right, so you're going to be called... Um, What are we going to call you? Uh, Electron X. Electronic... City is what we'll call you. So this is Electronic City, funnily enough, where you come to get your electronics, which is exciting. And I'm quite happy with that naming principle anyway. Right, okay, so with that done, we can go ahead now and start to put items on the shelves, which I've been wanting to do. So we're going to have four of everything. Uh, let's not have fresh fruits, fruits and vegetables. Fresh fruits, that would be a bit disgusting. So as you can see, we're going to have lots of stuff here. Like, I mean, lots of stuff. Which is going to be very exciting indeed. We're going to have to have a lot of staff for this place. And this place is going to be open from 7 till 10. Just because of the size of it and the amount of items it also stores as well. That's very, very important indeed. Though we are going to need a big security setup for this. Just because the items in here, the value in general, is going to be quite high. And also, I think that's something we need to go ahead and expand into now. Right, smartphones in. Next is tablets. So we've got seven unique items or seven unique electronic items for the tables, which is good. I'm having a bit of bother with this menu again. I'm just about hitting food multiple times. MP3 players, crazy. I can't imagine they're going to sell too much anyway, but hey-ho. Right, cameras. Cameras... Are they still popular in this day and age? I mean, I used my, I used to have a, I used to have a camera, uh, oh, I want to say a DLSR or DSR maybe, I don't know if that's a kind of camera or not, but, um, I very much just use my phone now, I've got a good, I've got a really good phone to be fair, so, it is quite good. Right, what are we looking for here? Toys, books, DVDs, Blu-rays, music, yeah, I think what we're going to need to do is add some more shelves, definitely. 
So let's add some DVDs. DVDs and Blu-rays and I was editing, I think it was maybe episode number 4 and I had such a blunder, I just couldn't find DVDs and Blu-rays. It was really, really embarrassing but hey ho, managed to find it now. Right, so we're going to need to go and delete one or two small things here. So let me come into builds, let me remove tables and let's remove a row of tables there. And a second row, yeah let's do a second row as well. Which is fine, so I just need my builders. My builders are doing a lot right now. There's multiple projects, there's car park upgrading, there is mall changing, there is, there's a lot going on right now. While they do that, I can actually go ahead and do some flooring stuff though, which is good. So let me go ahead and add in the red carpet in the hallway, the yellow tiles for the shop. Especially right in between all these doors here, because that is something which, if you don't know by now, bugs me quite a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead, while all this is happening, I want to add in some shelves. More shelves. Can't have enough shelves. I also want to add in some of this anti-security stuff though. So, going to slow the game down. Right, right, right down. Wow. E. Uh, how's things daily profit? Daily profit's taking a big hit just because we're losing about 16,000 a day due to our debts, but... I mean, I've needed to go ahead and do all this mass building anyway. It's justified. And we'll slowly be able to start to gain money to go ahead and pay that off. Right, let's add in some more music and CDs. What I was going to do was I'm going to go into build an anti theft detector. So, I don't know if these need to be placed opposite each other or how it works. We're just going to add quite... I mean, I've got quite a lot of doors, which I guess probably isn't the most efficient thing. But hey-ho. So this should really mean now that no one gets out without paying. That's the main point in them. The only one thing I would say though is that... I am a little bit unsure if someone does get caught. Do they get arrested or is this why I need a security office? Because I am unsure. So security centre requires guards. Right, okay, we need to build one of those quite shortly as well. What we're going to do is we're probably going to build that maybe up here. That's what I'm thinking, just because I also need to add in some more bathrooms as well, which is quite important. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. We can also, we're getting another storage room here for whatever goes here. Could be the cinema, if we have the money this episode. Okay, so let me go and remove this wall here. I mean, this place is pretty much ready to go. Uh, I need to do, actually no, we've got a lot to do still. So let me sort that small bit of flooring out there. What we're going to do temporarily is, uh, you guys are just about to finish this actually, so it's not too bad. We'll remove that wall there. We will allow this whole bit to be open very, very shortly. So let me go ahead. You could argue right now that I'm wasting too much money on just the mall infrastructure and not actually putting enough money into stores, which I can see that argument quite clearly, but right now I think all in all, uh, I'm just building for the future. I'm making my life a bit easier, hopefully. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and have some doors into the bathroom. Which we'll have two. Then let's go ahead and add in some restroom stuff. So we're just going to add in lots of cubicles. Then we can have sinks along the bottom here. I'm not going to add in any urinals this time. And then we can have some more sinks there and there. Right, that's perfect. So that's that restroom now gone ahead and been built. We can actually assign this a restroom. So that is another area. Let me go ahead and actually rename these restrooms. So your restroom superstore is what you are. Superstore. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and rename you restroom mall one is what you're going to be. Because there's going to be quite a lot. Uh, actually, you know what we'll call you? Restroom uh, east mall which, I mean, there's no north, east, south, and west in this, but I guess I always refer to north as up, east as to my right, south is to my, uh, down, and then we've got left is my west. So I guess if you're looking at this from a north, south, east, and west POV, then that would be the restroom east mall. Right, okay, so the next thing we need to do is assign a storage area. I have another one in here. Which is perfect. We can actually also allow for 
think I want to go to all. I want staff doors. We're going to have some more staff doors there. We're also going to need an entrance into this place here too, whatever it is. So we'll build that right now too. So that's that storage place done. So we can now go into the electronic city. Let's go ahead and assign you storage 13. Again, we're going to rename storage 13. You need to start being really good with your names going forward here because naming principles are very important. So we'll go for storage super store, which is fine. And then the only other thing which isn't named is storage 13. Everything is well named, which is good. So then let's go for storage. Um, this is interesting, actually. You know what? We're going to go for East Mall as well. We're very close to Outfitters storage as well, so you could probably get these mixed up quite easily. However, I mean, that's Fast Mall. That could become North, and then there's Closed Mall. Anyway, they're all unique. That's all that matters. Right, how are we getting on, guys? We're doing quite well. Let me go ahead and remove this wall. We're down 135,000, which does kind of worry me, to be fair. We have maybe overspent a little bit before, but that's what the loan's for. We've not overspent. We're fine. Right, let me allow for that, and let me allow for that. I will go ahead and furnish the hallways as time goes on, like I've done here, but uh, I'll get there. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Right, that's all the carpets in, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and sort out some more of these missing floor bits and then finally we can go ahead and add in some nice white bits around the doors there which is perfect okay so onwards and upwards ladies and gentlemen let's fill out the rest of this and let's get this place open because it is ready to go then we need to change our focus to security i don't think we're going to get that cinema in or bowling alley i can't remember which one we unlock but i don't think i'm going to get it in today unfortunately right let's just get one more of every single item out onto the shelves because I think it'd be a good idea. So tablets. Now, the reason I'm maybe actually losing money, I've had a thought about this, is actually because of the fact we are... Let's have an extra games consoles and extra smartphones, maybe. It's because I'm taking... Because I'm building specific stores, I'm probably taking sales away from our supermarket. Our supermarket is very much food orientated, and I might just make it food orientated, but it is also a bit of everything right now, which is good, so... It does have its pluses and minuses anyway. It's still making us our most money. Uh, it's something I've not checked on in a while, actually. Bigfoot Superstore. It's still at 88% profit margin. Its net profit has drastically gone up, so maybe I'm telling a lie. But that was maybe a thought for the fluctuation anyway. There's a few different things you can definitely put it down to. But I guess I'm not 100% sure. Right, we need a video games aisle. Everyone loves a good video games aisle. You need a shelf for PS4, Xbox One, and then you need to make sure you still have those other consoles in there too, uh, which is what Wii U currently. Probably some last generation stuff. Then handhelds. Uh, we've got the Wii Switch. It's not Wii U, it's Wii Switch. Wow. I'm a bit... I'm, I'm not the biggest Nintendo fan. I had a Wii, and they were good. More for just like, I mean, it's a really good family console, that, actually. And then, outside of that, I've never really owned another n n n n n Nintendo item. Uh, my, I guess we had a few DSs in the family, but I actually had a PSP, which is very good fun. So, I mean, it lasted, I, I played it a lot for the, like, three years I had it, but I spilt banana on it. I had it in a bag with my, uh, banana. And uh, my banana burst, and for some reason the disc tray was open, so banana, like, squidgy banana got into the disc tray, and that was the end of my PSP. Anyway, wonderful story times for Callum. Let's go ahead and get this sorted. So, Electronic City. Hire some cashiers. Arguably, we want to start off with the store opening from 7 till... 10. Let's go ahead and hire... We're going to need two stock clerks in here, actually. One, because it's just such a big store. And two, I think we should get a lot of sales going quite quickly. So we'll hire you. And then we'll also hire... Even though we've got increased selection, the selection is not good for stock clerks right now at all, is it? Uh, we'll probably hire you, Scotty. So you're going to come in at 6, that's fine. And then you're going to come in at... 
2 in the afternoon, which is fine. Right, okay, so the next thing to do is cashiers. Now, how many cashiers do we need? That is a question. Uh, quite a fair amount. I think we're probably going to want to have roughly three on at all times. Just because I think this place is going to be really busy. I'm really, really hopeful for this. So let's... Ah, uh, it's not good. Things aren't good. I wonder how you can improve this. I mean, outside of getting more people, I wonder if you can train people's skills up or something. Not like have a college system, but have a better advertising system, maybe? I'm not at all sure. Anyway, so you're going to start at 7. You're going to start at 7. You're going to start at... Let me think. Uh, you're going to start at 10. Then you're going to start at 2. And then we'll have someone else start at 2. Which is fine. So that means that we have... Basically, two people in the morning. Then we have someone... We have two people in at all times. And then we also have... Hold up. I think this... Yeah, you need to be open two more hours. There we go. Something was just a little bit wrong with that graph there. As we can see, things are two staff members at all time. Then we go up to three throughout the peak of the day. And then at changeover, there is five. But that's only for an hour, which is good. Right, okay. We're also starting to see stock appear in the stock room, which is also nice to see. So that can start to go ahead and fill up. Very much so, and then we'll get a stock clerk in tomorrow, and then Electronic City, ladies and gentlemen, will be open for business, which I'm very, very excited about. Okay, so out with that, we've completed some more research. We completed Marketing 1, allows marketing campaigns on traditional media. I have to do that myself, don't I? Okay, uh, so how much is this going to cost? That's the thing. Let's go for premium. Let's go for something. That's going to cost 24000 though. How much money do we have? Uh, we'll do some very basic marketing right now, but not too advanced. Let's go for maybe local radio ads. Let's do a duration. Uh, let's do maybe 10 days. Expected sales boost 8% is very nice at premium. That's only going to cost 15 k uh, We're going to go for it. Let's do that. You can have multiple. Ooh, that's nice. Right, okay, so anyway, that should hopefully go ahead and have some effect, which I'm excited about. With regards to what we're going to work on next, I'm not really sure. Thinking maybe a coffee shop. Oh, there's plants and garden supplier. That's new. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I feel we should maybe move into tobacco. What's the demand? That's the best question. What is the demand? Movies is very high. Movies is very, very high. Though we have unlocked movies, haven't we? So, movies are a bar. That's probably two things we should do. So, did we do movies? We have got cinema. I just need to build it. So, then what about a bar? Let's go for bars. Let's start to research that. Which sounds good to me. Right, okay. So, Electronic City is in its first day. But it's not got a lot of items out on the shelves. Which isn't good. So, that will need to happen. It's in its first day of sales. I think it's made about a sale. It's really not done too well. However, I think that things should go ahead and start to do better as time goes on. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and add in a security office and also some more toilets. And then also I'm going to allow for... I mean, we're starting to go really low on money. This is what is worrying me. Uh, I want to build that whole area in there, which is only 41,000. And then we're going to split this by toilets, a security area, and another storage room. Which is fine for the time being. And then we'll start to build something else in there. I'm not really at all sure again what yet, but again, building for the future. Though we are going to really start to have to let the game run a bit, just because of the fact we're not making a lot of money. So... Oh, we're not making a lot of money. I take that back. But as we can see, we only made a net profit of only 18,000 yesterday, which isn't good. Though I am expecting the advertising campaign to have some effect. And then also what's going on in here to have some effect as well. All in all, it's taking so long to fill the shop up, though. That's the problem. We might need another stock clerk. Because, I mean, we've still not got DVDs or Blu-rays or anything like that out. And especially when there's a big movie release coming up soon. I want to get movies out onto the shelves. Big time. Because that's a, a really good sales opportunity. As we can see, we're in the profit. But again, we're only going to make about 20000 today, which isn't perfect. 
I think I might add in another stock clerk, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So I think we're going to miss this, which is a bit disappointing. Um, right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Manage, Electronic City, Stock Clerk. Who's a good stock clerk? You're not too bad, Ronald, but let me look at everyone else. We'll go for you, Ronald, actually. You're the best bet. So you're just going to be on throughout the middle of the day, throughout the peak. Which is fine, so let's do that. So you'll come in at 9 and work till 5. And, I mean, that's the best things can really do. I can't do much better than that. I think we're going to miss out on this movies. Which is kind of disappointing. But hey ho, uh, there is movies up here actually. But this place is looking a bit bare. Unsure why that is. It's a bit disappointing to be fair. I could add some more people in again. We'll just see how things go. Yeah, let's add another stock clerk. I think just because we've got so many more people visiting now, we're up in the 2000s, it's probably that is is having some effect. So let's go into manage, let's go into Bigfoot's superstore. Woo woo woo! And let's go ahead and add in another stock clerk. There was a decent... Oh, it was a janitor, a good janitor. I've seen there's a few good janitors in here, actually. You're not a bad stock clerk, though, at 32, so we'll hire you. Uh, when are you going to work? I have no idea. Probably in the evening because it looks like we need to go ahead and stack the shelves up more in the evening. So we'll allow for that. Uh, that should hopefully make some difference. As we can see, things are looking fine at midday. But then I think it's probably the midday rush that causes the problems. So I mean, we suppose we've got six people working. Stacking the shelves. So things are looking not too bad now mid-afternoon. Then, as you move into the evening again, things aren't too bad at all. The amount of people that are in here is ridiculous, though. We've literally got every single place filled. I've not really been keeping up with missed sales occurrences, by the way. It's just so sort of impossible to keep up with. I think we do need to go ahead and expand things in here, and I have an idea for this. Though it is going to take quite a bit of uh, money, actually, to go ahead and do what I want to do in here. But we'll do that once I've paid off my loan, which we are slowly getting through, slowly but surely. 16000 per day is only going to take about, I don't know, 20 days to pay off. Though hopefully we'll be able to raise the money to be able to pay it back off earlier. That's what I'm sort of hoping for as time goes on. Things are looking much better. The stock, uh, see, it's this time in the morning. We need a better person overnight. That's what we need. So we're very quickly just going to hire another stock clerk. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. Right, you're the best, but you're only 24, but you'll do. Right, you're going to work overnight, so you're going to start at uh, 11 o'clock at night. And you're going to work throughout the night to make sure the shop is ready for the morning. Because as we can see, it is right now 10 o'clock, and there's still quite a lot of empty shelves. Which isn't any good at all. Not happy in the slightest with this. Again, very much, I've seen some comments that are like, oh, expand this, expand that. I could do a lot of expansion in here, but I just want to limit this for the time being. We have actually gone ahead and just completed another... Where's my mouse gone? There we go. I have completed uh, 500,000 sales, which is nice to see too. So I'm very happy at that. How are we doing on the car parking front? We're doing good on the car parking front, which is nice to see. Right, okay, so uh, what I am going to do now is, I think that should sort that issue out anyway. I do, I do, I do really want to start working in here, but it's just we don't have the, the real money right now to go ahead and do so. I could take out more of a loan, but I just don't want to dig myself a bigger hole. One thing I do want to check up on as we end this episode is how is Electronic City doing then? At least you've got the shelves full finally, that's good. Uh, Electronic City, where are you? You are here. What are we doing? 83% profit margin, 7,000 we're gaining there. I did think this place would do quite good. Very happy about that indeed. And people are coming in and starting to buy stuff, which is good. With regards to sales, we could probably have... Let me think. I mean, things are... I actually just want to monitor things and really see how things go here. Because I'm sort of unsure how profitable we are all round. Or how busy it is, sorry. How big the queues at checkout. So I don't think we need this many staff at all. I can definitely make that change. Because there is no need. I think three at all times. Maybe even two. I could cut down to two, I think. Yeah, let's maybe do that. 
cut down to two, but I mean, we're gonna, we're built for the future. No, let's leave it for the time being. Right, okay, so we're just gonna keep the game going really, really fast, and in between this and the next episode, I'll let the game run a little bit, just so we can maybe save up to try and clear out a good portion of our debt. I think that would be a good idea. Garbage collection strike, thank God. I thought it was gonna be a worker strike or a delivery strike. Can you actually get worker strikes? I'm not at all sure if you can or not, but hey-ho. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and start to segregate this area because we're going to go ahead and start to build for the future. So that's going to be a bathroom. What does a security center entail? Not a lot, so we'll go ahead and make you quite thin as well. We'll make you this area in... We'll make you a five, five deep, which is fine. Then what we'll do is we'll build a wall in there. Now, I don't know what's going to go in here yet, so I'm going to allow for this area to be basically a large storeroom, though again, we can cut it in half if we need to, or we can expand it. I don't really know, because the security center can essentially be smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm very quickly going to speed build a bathroom. That's what we're going to do, and then we'll start on the security in the next episode. So let's allow for that. So let's get some doors in. Let's build a door there and build a door there which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and fill in that bit of flooring, that bit of flooring. Let's go for assignment of a zone, a sign. Let's go for restroom, and this is going to be restroom north in the mall, but I'll rename this off camera. Finally, build all restroom cubicles. Rotate. Let's get some cubicles in here. And then finally, let's get some sinks. I also realised I didn't put any trash cans in my last bathroom, which was not helpful at all, because there are people who are going to litter, obviously. Once they've washed their hands, use paper towels. But yeah, I'm happy. Things are looking good. I mean, we've still got so much to do. So, so, so much to do. But at the end of this episode, episode number 8, I'm quite happy with the progress we are making. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here, so hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you are new around here. Go down into that comment section below, give me some feedback, go ahead and hit that notification bell, be part of the notification squad, and that's all for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you very much for watching, my name is Bigfoot, and I'm out.